Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Regroup Show. I am your host, LJ Walker, a real estate investor helping you realize your dreams of owning a home or investing in one. So today I found that Steve Harvey made a quite controversial statement that got a lot of Christians, particularly those who are financial advisors, into a little bit of an uproar. I'm a little late because this was actually made about two years ago. So I'm like, okay, you know what? It's better late than never to show you guys, to give you guys a lesson. So the statement was made on Family Feud. They had a special uh, that was done in Africa, right? So this particular family that was on the show, they were from Cape Town, South Africa. They were black, but they were also, I could see that they're mixed with a little bit of Indian, possibly. And here was the question. The question was, what milestone can people achieve that will make them proud of themselves a little bit later on? Okay, so one of the contestants in the family, uh, he said, one of the first things he said was he wanted to be a homeowner that got up on the board. Steve didn't have a problem with that. Uh, the next time the question came to him, the contestant said he did not want to be in debt. So Steve paused right there and then he said, that's not going to happen. Debt is good. In order to get rich, you need to use other people's money. Remember that. And that is the statement that many people are having a problem with. I did notice that the mother at first, you know, she clapped, but then she quickly turned her head and her whole body around uh, at the end. I don't think she was really all that pleased uh, with Steve's answer. She hasn't, from my understanding, she hasn't really made any statement about it. Uh, the person, of course, one of, one of the people who have made a statement is Dave Ramsey because as you know Dave Ramsey is not here for debt at all <laughs> okay so now I'm going to give you my two cents on the issue and it may surprise you believe it or not so here's my takeaway on this thing and no, I am not a financial advisor. Let me put that disclaimer out there immediately. But um, I am a real estate investor and I am a business owner. So I'm qualified to a certain extent. I've also been to Cape Town, South Africa, which is where this family is from. So part of my issue with both Steve Harvey and with Dave Ramsey is that neither one of them are from that country. Uh, from what I can see, neither one of them have really done extensive business in that country. So really neither one of them are really qualified to give financial advice to anyone that is from another country other than America, okay? The only thing that I see with Steve, I know that Steve at one point wanted to buy a house there, but he decided against it because they have this load sharing or load bearing issue where if you use too much electricity or, or at certain uh, times of the day, they cut the electricity off. So because he is also a businessman, he realized that that, he didn't really know how to work that into his business plan. So he decided against buying property there. But I would say Steve 
even though I don't think he's qualified, he is definitely more qualified from Dave Ramsey because Dave Ramsey don't own any businesses in South Africa. He does not own any homes there either. At least Steve did a, a whole show series uh, in the continent of Africa. So Steve might have just a little bit of a leg up, if you will. But uh, dialing back a little bit, the truth of the matter is the economy in South Africa is a little bit different from the economy in the United States. Their financial systems are not the same. I know personally someone who was educated, got their degree in accounting, came to America, and when they tried to get a job here, they were told, no, we need you to have a degree here in the United States of America. Okay. there, And they did find that the whole accounting system, the way we do it here, differs from the way it's done in South Africa. So I caution anybody from another country uh, getting any financial advice from an American unless they actually want to come to America or buy products, uh, financial products here in America. Otherwise, if you're buying financial products in your country, you need to look for a financial advisor in your country. So that's really my main thing right there. Okay. But the other, the Christians that are financial advisors or who work in the financial space, many of them are kind of like Dave Ramsey, where they believe in neither a borrower or a lender be. Okay. Now here's the thing. That's really not Bible. It's passed off as it is, but that's really Shakespeare. All right. The Bible really, if you read it, it's not against debt, but it's not necessarily for it either okay it's definitely not for it when it's between family and friends when it's when it's going according to business the bible is definitely for it because if you read uh, the chapter of nehemiah they talk about mortgages if you read matthew 25 27 it talks about making an investment and getting a return. So the Bible is not against it. It's just, you have to be responsible when using it, when applying it. Okay. So that's where I disagree, even though I am definitely a Christian, uh, whether one, you know, once you, you take it up with God, if you have a problem with that, I'm definitely a Christian, but I don't agree with many of the Christian financial advisors. That's out there. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now, with Steve, getting back to Steve, I don't think he meant any harm. You know, and to be honest, I really don't know if he spoke with the guy before the show started. I doubt it. You know, if he did speak with him, he probably just said hello and kept it moving. I don't think he had like any in-depth conversations with this person. I'm going to assume that, um, if you will. But the other issue that I did have with Steve is that not only is it the fact that these people are from another country, uh, and they're also, to a certain extent, uh, a different culture, okay, we don't know. There was sort of like an assumption as far as what was the guy's goal, the one that said he wanted to be out of debt. We didn't know whether or not he wanted to be a ri rich or not. Everybody doesn't want to be rich. And I pause there for a minute because there's a lot of people that their goal is just to have the bills paid, a roof over their head, and food on the table to eat every day. That's it. There's a lot, there's a lot of people who 
uh, being rich is not their ultimate goal. So we can't make the assumption that that's what he wanted, right? And then the next thing is we don't know what type of debt he's in. He doesn't have a house, so we know that mortgage is not the debt he's talking about. He is a fairly young individual, so his debt could be education or it could be the car that he drives um, or it could be him partying a lot. Now, I've been to South Africa, as I mentioned, and their transportation system is not as extensive as, let's say, New York or D.C. So having a car in many areas is a necessity. It's not a luxury, if you will. Partying is definitely something that's done out there. You know, most young people, all, no matter where they are in the world, that is something that they do. I don't know if this particular person parties a lot. Uh, however, uh, if we don't know if that's the type of debt he's in. And then education from what I gather, and this may be a stereotype on my part, because when I looked at this family, I saw my family. My family is not from South Africa. However, the dynamics of it is just extremely similar. Just, just look from the outside looking in. And I know that education is definitely important, especially th the reason why, too, um, not just uh, the racial makeup, but also because of the jackets that the mother made everybody wear. She is a woman. She's very proud to be South African. That's why the jackets had the South African flags all over it. But she's also one of those mothers that does not care about fashion. And mothers who don't care about fashion care a lot about education. And they will go through great sacrifices to make sure that their children get the education that is needed. And it may not necessarily be cheap, right? So because of that, I'm, I'm thinking honestly that a large part of the debt that he's talking about is towards his education because he did look like he was someone who was in college. All right. Now, um, is education debt bad? Not really, but it is something that you do have to pay back if you ever borrowed in order to get that particular money. And let's face it. Uh, I believe when I, you know, a long time ago, I kind of looked at things. I know things have changed since then. But when it comes to scholarships and grants and things like that, the United States gives out more of those than most other countries. And see, that's another thing that one has to uh, keep in mind when giving advice out to people, especially who don't live in the same country as you do. Another thing, too, that I know about South Africa is their bills and their gas is high. And like I said, they got to drive. It's not really much of an option out there, depending on where you live uh, within the city of Cape Town. So, yeah. Uh, that was something that I kind of felt, you know, we didn't know what their lifestyle was. We don't know how much he actually had. And we also don't know who that family knows. You know, uh, yes, many families uh, uh, try are large and they may try to stick together, uh, particularly that particular group. Uh, however, we still don't know how much each person has. Uh, we don't know not only how much do they have, but are they willing to lend 
to one another? Are they willing to put their monies together to get out of debt or to buy a business or to buy real estate? We don't really know that for sure. And I'm pretty sure, I know another stereotype here, but does this young boy know the same type of people that Stevie, Steve Harvey knows? I'm pretty sure Steve Harvey knows a slew of people with deep pockets. I don't think this young boy does. So telling him to use other people's money, you know, he probably doesn't even understand that concept all that well. I don't think his mother does either. <laughs> and she probably thinks that Steve is trying to tell him to use her money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, that's where I feel as though Steve may have been, uh, a little bit too, he jumped the gun a little bit too much, but I know where he was going with it because at the end of the day, I kind of agree with him. I just believe that the advice is really more for an American family, maybe than opposed to families outside of our country right now the other thing to let me just break down what other people's money is opm other people's money is not always family and friends and associates right grants but again we don't know what kind of grants they have in south africa so that he the contestant can achieve whatever goal it is that he wanted to achieve, right? All right, next, uh, partnership. Again, we don't know who this boy knows. He's just starting out. You could look at him. He's He doesn't know that many people, I don't think, that can necessarily uh, partner with him, give him money to do whatever it is that he wants to do. Right. Because we don't even know how he exactly how he got into debt. He got in anyway. Uh, uh, we can we can cross out equity line of credit because he doesn't have a house. Right. So then the other way that we know he can get money for sure is with credit cards. Uh, how do they issue credit cards out in South Africa? I don't know. I know that when I went to college. I got a whole ton of people sending me applications to fill out to get a credit card. I don't know if they do that in that country. That's the thing about it. But let me run a play on you anyway. So let's say this guy has credit cards. Okay. Uh, let's say he wants to do a real estate deal and he sees the deal, but he does not have enough money to do so. Let's say this deal will yield 18% ROI. Okay. So let's say he has one of those promo credit cards that is 0% interest. He uses the line of credit along with his cash and he buys that deal well he just made a profit as long as he's able to make the payments back on time he still make he still has made a profit right we we also don't know if the guy has a side job what he does for a living he might be a full-time student with no job at all you know what I mean but let's say if he does have a side job let's say the payments are 80% of his net income then yeah he'll make a good profit but let's say um, let's say he already has a credit card and that 0% promo introductory fee is gone but he's been consistent with making his payments on time and it's been, let's say, a year, two years or so, right? He might be able to negotiate the interest rate down on the credit card. That is, if they even allow, if that's even allowed in South Africa, 
but he can negotiate the interest rate, bring it down to maybe 8%, maybe 5%, who knows, and buy that same real estate deal that's 18%. He would still be making more money than if he were to leave it in the bank. And he would still be making a profit, right? Because when it comes to credit, it's determined by how you use it wisely. Credit is not bad. Debit, deb, debt is not bad. I agree with Steve Harvey on that. But you have to use it wisely. That's, that's the key. So I definitely disagree with Dave Ramsey on that. I probably should do another video on Dave Ramsey um, by himself. I also thought uh, when I looked at the Dave Ramsey video, he was a little too harsh on Steve. I get where he was coming from, but he brought up the fact that Steve Harvey was $25 million uh, that he owed in taxes. Here's the thing, uh, Steve Harvey paid those taxes off. He just got another deal that made a lot of money that allowed him to pay that off. So I kind of felt like Dave was hating on Steve a little bit too much. I felt it was just, ooh, when I looked at that, I was like, okay, you need to back up a little bit, dial back. I understand where you're coming from. I, I know what you're saying. But listen, you're not qual I don't think you're all that qualified either to be given this family any advice unless you are going to tailor it, do some research and tailor it to those who live in South Africa. I'm not I'm, I don't want to come down on Dave too hard because I do know people, American people who have taken his courses, particularly the snowball one. And it's gotten them out of debt. Okay. But there is a difference between good debt and bad debt. And all debt is not bad, like Steve is saying. So, guys, anyway, that's all I have. I, I think I'm going to continue um, speaking about Dave Ramsey, but I'm going to put it in another video so that you guys can see that, you know what, we can't take advice from anybody, even those who make more money than us, who are well-intentioned, sometimes the advice that they give is half right, okay? So anyway, hopefully the information that I've shared will help you make smart financial moves. Feel free to pass this along to your friends. Remember, each one, reach one, teach one. Bye for now. Until next time, have a good day.